So, hey folks, we've got an interesting situation here with our favorite new little roguelite game, Luck Be a Landlord. Love the game, it's great, but I might have broken it. I was playing on my own time, I've been playing for a little while now, just casually while I was watching other YouTube videos and stuff like that, and we've gotten up to 1.5 million gold, and our next rent payment in no, where is it? Our next rent payment isn't for another few spins, but it's only like eight thousand. But yeah, so basically, what we've done here is gotten a bunch of flowers and flower type synergies, and like every good item under the sun for such a deck, except for perhaps the kaleidoscope. And we're just going nuts with it. We've got a oil can to re-roll columns that we don't like. For example, this one only has two flower type synergies, so I'm going to re-roll it in hopes I get more. I didn't. Well, yes, I did. I got one. Cool. And basically the idea is, is since we have a protractor here, if you don't know what it does, it makes the corner symbols act as if they're adjacent to all symbols. So we just stick a flower in the corner, and then it gets synergies from everything on the board. So, in this particular instance, on this particular spin, we only got 15.6k off of that single flower. Um, part of the reason for that is we only had one of our three suns, but as you can see, we do have three suns in the deck. And even if the flower wasn't in the corner, we have clear sky, and we also have rusty gear if we can manage to get our flowers next to each other. Got a load of bees, we've got a load of rain, we've got a load of light bulbs. And we got a couple of farmers. Everything else in the deck is basically worthless by comparison, so we try to ignore it as best as possible. I think I've trimmed it down as best as I can without ruining the deck for longer than it's worth. I could get a further optimization could happen over the course of several turns if I got a toddler or something like that to clear out this pinata and the candy that comes out. Then I could get a couple of bounty hunters to clear off the toddler itself, but for now we're just leaving it. It's already ridiculous. Um, don't know how long it's going to take me to actually finish this game, or if the game just gives up at some point. It's already gotten weirdly buggy. Every time I get a new item at this point, it takes a couple of spins for the actual graphic display to register that I have a new item. But, yeah. So that's what happens when you really high roll with, um flower decks. I'm gonna keep playing on stream for a while and recording for the this YouTube highlight video, which I didn't intend to make in the slightest. I, like I said, I'm just on my own time here, kind of toiling away. Um, but yeah, we'll see if we can get a record of actually seeing a 400k plus roll just to kind of proof of concept here but i don't know it's just ridiculous guys let me know what you think but it's kind of crazy i'm gonna legitimately try to finish this game the normal way and not just give up because i feel like this is never gonna happen again it just isn't um i don't have any flowers this is probably the lowest roll that this deck has had in like half an hour, 45 minutes. 82. 82 is not a bad roll in this game when you're playing the first 12 rounds of it and you're just in where your brain counts out at like 770. But in this world that we live in, this is terrible. My goodness. Um, we'll roll out of this guy. Got a flower in a corner. Cool. Hmm? I got- Oh, I did get connect for. Sersha says I got connect for. Go us. Yeah. But, uh, goodness. There, there's not a lot of strategy to be had with this current playthrough. It's just put the flowers in the right spot and watch big numbers be big numbers. So yeah, we got that going for us. Um, yeah, 
you can you can see why up until the point where I decided I should record proof that this was happening to me in case I think I'm dreaming later on or something. Um words. Yeah. You can see why I was uh watching uh YouTube videos and stuff like that while playing, because what the heck? This this is kind of I got over a million. Holy crap. <laughs> Jesus. People. <laughs> Why can't I do this well in, like, League of Legends? Because it's not luck-based. And... Well, it is luck-based. Why can't I high roll stuff like this? And why did I take that void stone? That's terrible! That's gonna ruin the deck. What you got for me, corner flower? Let's go. Let's go. You can do it. I have faith. What you doing? Two million! New record! Woo! Go us! We did it. I'd like to thank the Academy and my therapist. I don't know. Prior to this run, the highest I'd ever seen a flower go was 500. Not 500,000, just 500. Then I started this run and I was uh, getting giddy as a schoolgirl in relative terms when I got to 4,000. And that was shortly after I finished the first 12 payments of the regular game. And now we're here. 